Before Princeton Stadium, there was Palmer Stadium. The venerable home of Princeton football through most of the 20th century stood on the same ground for 82 seasons. When I saw Palmer Stadium for the first time, this to me was big, big time football. My first impression of what a university was, what a football program was, was walking through what was basically the U.S. version of the Roman Coliseum. I just thought that just so typified a college football stadium and an Ivy League stadium. It actually had Ivy growing up, you know, certain walls, so shouldn't they all? That harkens back to the great traditions of Princeton football and the, uh, Dick Kazmaier's and the Cosmo Yakavazis and when we were national champions. And you look at the old photos and you see uh, 50,000 people in the stands and you say, uh, you know, we've got an incredible heritage here. As an undergraduate, I would go and, you know, Palmer Stadium was packed and we were always playing for championships. I love the roar of the car. You could hear it enough to know they were there, uh, but they were far enough away that you got about your business. A full Palmer Stadium looked to me like some of these venues you see nowadays when the stadiums are full. That's to me what it was like. I talked to any of our guys in my ear, our stadium was Palmer Stadium. That's, that, that's home to us. That's, that's our house. The stadium was built in just four months in 1914, with workers on the east and west sides of the horseshoe competing against each other. It cost just $300,000, but by the 90s, it was showing its age. When they determined that they had to uh, replace the stadium, uh, I fought as hard as possible along with about everybody else. Instead of replacing, let's renovate, that's our stadium. And engineering-wise, that was not uh, probable or whatever, so, you know, time for a new stadium. I was given the charge by the Board of Trustees and by the President to further integrate Princeton Athletics into the overall life of the college. But that philosophy was critical to rebuilding Princeton Stadium in the Palmer Stadium footprint. Palmer Stadium was demolished after the 1996 season, signaling the end of one of the great stadiums in college football. At the time, it was the second oldest college football venue in the country. It was emotional when we got involved with tearing that place down. By rebuilding it there, we were still being surrounded by the academic buildings, which was critically important in terms of being loyal and authentic to the role that I was given. We really uh, worked hard to try to maintain that when we worked with uh, Rafael Vignoli, who was the architect for the new stadium. Uh, many alumni participated in the process of giving input on the stadium committee. We tried to really kind of maintain the facade of the old Palmer Stadium when we built the new Princeton Stadium. One of the really neat things that was done in the new stadium is when you go to the nave at the north end of Princeton Stadium, we put in the old bust of Palmer Stadium that was at the top, and we put it right there so that when groups come back to celebrate, and they do so in that area, boy, they see the history of Palmer Stadium Okay, being conjoined right there with the presence of Princeton Stadium. The Tigers played the 1997 season on the road as Princeton Stadium rose in Palmer's place. I do think if I have a place in Princeton lore, it's that my freshman year, every game was on the road. And then 98, you know, I was here for the new stadium, which was really special. There was a buzz in the air. It was fun and it was a perfect day. I invited every living football alumni back. So when we came out of the tunnel, we ran all the way down the away team sideline, all the way back to the home team sideline. And it was, it was like time travel. The oldest guys were first. And you went through and it was like the guys that graduated and played football in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. You turn the corner, you go in the end zone, 70s, 80s, 90s. And at the very end, all of the guys from the senior class the year before were there. And I almost get emotional talking about it because you knew what they had sacrificed. And to see 
this great uh, lineage of Princeton football, not only representing the past, but playing a part in the present and the future of Princeton football. So to be in front of 30,000 fans, to see the guys that had sacrificed the year before, it was incredibly special and a moment in time I'll never forget.